Marape said when he assumed the role of finance minister in August of 2012, he was presented with a bill of more than 36 million kina from Paraka lawyers in October of the same year. He said he consulted Prime Minister Peter O'Neill on this payment and O'Neill instructed Marape not to pay Paraka, hence all bills from this law firm were put on hold as of 31st October 2012. However, he said there was some money paid in January of the same year when Polia was the Finance and Treasury Minister. Uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, uh, that when police does the investigations, they, they will be doing it and giving uh, merits to each of the payments on its own, uh, based on its own merits. Uh, and so it, I can't speak for what happened in January. I was not part of that. Meanwhile, he said there were four payments made after he put a stop in October, which happened without his approval in the months of November and December of 2012 and March and May of 2013. Minister Marape says his statement today is consistent with the report he gave police earlier when he was called in for questioning with regards to the Paraka matter. He said after these payments were made without his approval, investigations had revealed who made the payments to Paraka. Sadly, two months down the line in May, I found out that this gentleman was the one who approved that six million payment. It's all before police for police to... Uh, I said investigate, but I'm just here and uh, my side I will not defend otherwise. It's a matter before police, but when Prime Minister's name is brought into it and when I know that he, in all instances, say don't pay paraka, I just feel it's unfair when someone uh, uh, after decommissioning gets out and says Prime Minister did allow for him to be paid. He said Prime Minister Peter Oni rang him time and again, one in front of the managing director of MRDC, Augustine Mano, and the Prime Minister's media advisor, Daniel Corimbao, asking Marape why he continually paid Paraka when he was instructed not to. Marape said the next day he asked his then treasurer <laughs> <laughs>